There's been at least one marriage proposal and even a wedding. Today, another couple made a date out of their visit to a section of a sidewalk in Roscoe Village. There is plenty of love for the infamous Chicago rat hole, but CBS 2's Noel Brennan also found out neighbors are tired of being a tourist attraction. It's kind of crazy how much this has blown up. For weeks, the impression of a rat. I heard it was a squirrel. Or some other rodent splayed on a Roscoe Village sidewalk. I do think it's a squirrel, for sure. Has left a lasting impression. We're on a date. I've been wanting to see the rat home for a while. Romantics see art. It's just so simple and like so artistic. Others see a bit of themselves. You know, I got a long rat tail myself. I had to memorialize it in some way, so. <laughs> a viral post on social media led to a daily stream of visitors. I'm going to use um, this silicon mold putty. It's a two part thing. Jacob King assumes he can't be the only one. Hopefully it'll work. Who's tried to make a mold of the Chicago rat hole. Womp womp womp. We were trying to take a, a mold of it, but the stuff didn't dry. Not everyone in the neighborhood is still amused. Some neighbors have gotten past annoyed and the rat is not the nuisance. One resident took to Reddit to vent about living with virality. This past weekend was absolute hell for me and my neighbors, they write. We have always liked the rat or squirrel, but now the internet has learned about it and taken things way too far. They say they deal with garbage, vandalism, partying, TV cameras, sorry, and more. They claim their mail carrier now skips their house to avoid crowds. We need you all to chill out. Please, they write. I already know that the alderman and the city is going to be probably getting rid of this soon, just with all the commotion. Jacob can imagine what his neighbors are going through. Yeah, I've lived in Roscoe Village for like four years now. But he can only guess how long this impression will last. The internet does wild things. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Boy, that it does. <laughs> R.I.P., R.I.P.